Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I am going to discuss the topic with you, the risk in Islamic perspective. That uh, what is risk? Let's define it in the beginning. Usually, the literature on risk management and the risk Islamic finance or the risk of conventional finance, they define risk that it is a variation in earnings from expectation. For example, entrepreneur he invest in his uh, business and he expect that what would be the return. For, uh, upon his investment, then he expect he makes some expectation. For example, he make this. This is the level of expectation, and what is the deviation from this expectation? It is quite possible if we say that this is a negative and this is the positive side, and the movement of his uh, real earning, what he is going to earn, if it is in the positive side, let's say this is the five, and in the negative side, this is the negative five. So both side. Uh, it is possible that he his earning will move in the positive side and his earning will move toward the negative side. So the literature, that is why, divide this risk into two types. They say that if it moves into the positive side, they call it that this is upward risk. If it is upward risk, it is also known as positive risk. And this is known as it called it is known downside risk. So if it is, it moves toward the negative side, so they divide risk usually into two ways: that upward and the down downward or the downside. If it moves toward the positive side, it means that it is profit. If it moves toward the negative side because still it is a risk that it can move to the negative side they call it that this is the loss usually in our practical life what we mean by risk we mean by risk that if we face loss this is the risk but naturally the term risk it has a potential in both sides in positive side as well as in the negative side so this is down, uh, downward side and this is the upward side. So this is the uh, division of risk in these two types. In statistics, 